Hello everyone, this is Adil. Today I would be discussing a new topic for you that is sex corticoids. Sex corticoids are also known as gonadocorticoids. Let's see why they are secreted and why they are synthesized. First of all, you can see here, here is the hypothalamus. This is pituitary gland. In the hypothalamus, there is a nucleus, a group of cell bodies here group of cell bodies in central nervous system is known as nucleus there is a nucleus which is known as paraventricular nucleus pvn this paraventricular nucleus secretes a hormone which is known as crh corticotropin releasing hormone this crh comes down through the hypothalamo hypophysial portal system eventually it reaches to anterior pituitary in the anterior pituitary, there are some cells which are called corticotrophs. Here I have mentioned one corticotroph. Now this CRH get bind to here and stimulates the corticotroph. When corticotroph gets activated, it secretes a hormone which is known as ACTH. ACTH. Adrenocorticotropin hormone. Now this ACTH goes to adrenal cortex as i have shown you here adrenal gland adrenal gland has two parts adrenal medulla internal part and adrenal cortex the outer part adrenal cortex has three parts the zona glomerulosa zona fasciculata and zona reticularis this zona reticularis is responsible to synthesize the uh, sex corticoids here i have zoom out one cell of zona reticularis zona reticularis look at here now this ACTH is in the blood from the blood it will go out and it will stimulate the receptor which is present on the cell of zona reticularis this cell is 7 pass receptor now here is your ACTH ACTH now ACTH will bind to this receptor. Now the receptor gets activated. This receptor is G coupled receptor. G protein coupled receptor. Here is G protein. Now this G protein activates an another protein which is known as adenylyl cyclase. Let me show you here. Adenylyl cyclase. This adenylyl cyclase is the membrane protein. Now, when G protein activates adenylyl cyclase, adenylyl cyclase converts ATP, ATP into cyclic AMP. This cyclic AMP activates another protein which is known as protein kinase A. Protein kinase A. Kinase A. We will see the function of protein kinase A before we want to discuss how the uh, how the sex corticoids are synthesized. We know the sex corticoids or gonadocorticoids are steroid hormones. They are synthesized from the cholesterol. Now let me write here the first cholesterol. Cholesterol. Here's your cholesterol. Now, the, from the cholesterol, there is the formation of pregnenolone. There is the formation of pregnenolone. Now, from the pregnenolone, there is the formation of 7 hydroxy pregnenolone. 7 hydroxy Preg nanolone. Remember one thing: pregnenolone can be either converted into 7 hydroxy pregnenolone or it can be converted into progesterone. Progesterone. Now, from the 7 hydroxy pregnenolone, there is the formation of dehydroepiandrosterone there is the formation of d 
hydro epi androstrone now from the progesterone we can also get 7 hydroxy progesterone 7 hydroxy progesterone okay now there is a formation of 7 hydroxy progesterone also from the uh, 7 uh, from the dehydro epiandrostrone we can also form the androstene dione androstene androstene dione androstene dione but here we need to remember that 7 hydroxy progesterone can also be converted into androstene dione androstene dione now look at here we got here dehydroepiandrostrione and androstene dione these two are sex corticoids sex corticoids these sex corticoids are also known as gonadocorticoids they are weak sex hormones they are weak sex hormones now what they are going to do look here they can either go to uh, testes in males they can either go to ovaries in females let me show you if they are going to testes in males they are converted into testosterone testosterone if they are going to ovaries in females they are converted into estrogen estrogen now we will see the effects of sex corticoids on males and females you see here the secondary sex characteristics secondary sex characteristics are those features which develop at the time of puberty now we will see what are those characteristics due to these sex corticoids males develop axillary here axillary hair growth they develop beard or facial hair beard also pubic hair also uh, at the time of puberty they develop uh, deepening of voice or male voice deepening of voice deepening of voice and also there is increase in the libido libido means sexual desire okay if we will see in the females what are the effects of sex corticoids on females the first effect is also the axillary here they develop axillary here also pubic hair also there is the enlargement of breast enlargement of breast start of menstruation These were the effects of sex corticoids on males as well as on females. Also females develop libido. Increasing sexual desire. Here I forgot to mention the function of the protein kinase A. Actually the protein kinase A phosphorylates all the enzymes which help in the synthesis of sex corticoid. Suppose here is one enzyme enzyme A, enzyme B, enzyme C, enzyme D, 
enzyme E, enzyme F. All these enzymes get phosphorylated. They are added by phosphates. They are added by phosphates. Then they become activated. Eventually, there is the formation of sex corticoids. Now, we will see the hypersecretion of sex corticoids in males and in females. If there is hypersecretion of sex corticoids in males, there is a disease. Suppose, if there is hypersecretion of sex corticoids in females, what will happen? There is a disease which is known as Adrenal, adrenal virilism. It's also known as, it's also known as pseudo hermaphroditism. Okay, in this condition, females develop may like secondary sexual characteristics like females develop beard let me write here by blue color they develop beard also they develop deepening of voice there is increase in the sexual desire that is libido also they develop uh, the deepening of voice also uh, facial hair as I have mentioned here uh, also the other sexual characteristics which are male characteristics if we look in the males if there is hyper secretion of sex corticoids in males if there is hyper secretion of sex corticoids what will happen there are the these males will develop female like secondary sexual characteristics like there will be enlargement of the breasts enlargement of breasts in males. This enlargement of breasts is known as gynecomastia. Gynecomastia. They will also develop other uh, secondary sexual characteristics like they will increase the pubic hair also they will also develop increase in the in females Females will develop also just here. Just here. And the other feature, uh, the clitoris of females is uh, in this condition is very large. Or we can say they develop a small pants. Okay. This was all about uh, sex corticoids. Hope you understood well. Thanks.